Hello and welcome to Love Muslims Critique Islam Part 9 Has the Quran been corrupted? Throughout this uh, series of videos uh, I'll be sharing with you the truth about Islam that you just won't get from the mainstream media and you won't get from Muslims so let me reveal to you the secrets Imams don't want you to know and take you on a journey of absolute truth and answer the question, has the Quran been corrupted? Islam claims the Quran is eternal, uh, sent down by Allah, compiled in 652 AD and remains unchanged ever since and is unique. But can they prove it? Uh, well, we know now that Muhammad didn't write the Quran as he was illiterate and uh, nothing was written down at the time of his living. So who did and how did it come about? There's nothing written down uh, of Muhammad's revelations at the time of his death in 632 AD. And we can assume that there must have been a sense of urgency at the time when it became apparent that there was a need to get things written down soon, uh, whilst the people that could remember his teaching had, in effect, um, the Quran in their heads, uh, were not dying in battle and remained alive as uh, raiding and uh, pillaging continued across the region. Hastily, they inscribed what they could remember onto stalks and stones uh, before it was lost completely. And manuscripts were compiled uh, by the uh, first caliphate, Abu Bakr, and uh, Umar, the second caliphate, and by his daughter Hafsa. Uh, Uthman Ibrahim Afan, uh, a rich, powerful merchant, uh, was the third caliph. He orders four compilers to rewrite Hafsa's codex uh, to make a perfect copy, but already. 19 years after Muhammad's death, we see changes. Islam tells us that the Quran is perfect, uh, but Uthman has other ideas and has already decided that it wasn't and uh, makes changes to what has already been written. All discarded material was burnt, so he has assumed authority uh, to determine what material is destroyed and what survives. But, you know, Muslims tell us that Muhammad was the last prophet and only a prophet could uh, get revelation from God. But Uthman, um, who never claimed to be one, somehow declared himself appropriate to edit Allah's divine uh, word. And once complete, he sent copies to uh, nine provinces, uh, but uh, all have since been lost. Um, so the answer to the question, who wrote the Quran, uh, the answer is nobody knows. Islam also tells us uh, that a large part of the Quran may be lost. Um, so uh, says Sahir al-Bukhari 6509. Uh, Uthman then ordered that all other uh, Quranic materials, uh, whether written in fragmentary manuscripts or whole copies to be burnt, uh, and that is um, uh, or said in Sahir al-Bukhari 6.5.10. Islamic text and commentaries give us uh, an insight on how the Quran became recompiled and uh, the confusing uh, and chaotic way in which it was put together uh, with some comical reasons as to uh, why some verses were left out. So, uh, let's play a game. Shall we uh, guess what happened to the Quran? Uh, so here we go then. Uh, some verses were lost in the memory of those who had uh, already died in battle. And we read this in the Hadith Ibn uh, Abi Dawood Kitab al Masahif. It's on page 23. It says this, uh, many of the passages of the Quran that were sent down were known by those who died on the day of Yamama. Uh, they were not known by those who survived them, uh, nor where they were written down, nor had Abu Bakr, Umar or Uthman, uh, by that time, collected the Quran, nor where they found 
and even one person after them. And some verses have simply disappeared. Um, as we read this in, in uh, Islamic text, uh, let none of you say, I have acquired the whole of the Quran. How does he know what all of it is when much of the Quran has disappeared? Uh, rather, let him say, I have acquired what has survived. Uh, some verses were forgotten. Uh, we read this in um, Islamic text. We used to recite a surah which resembled in length and severity to uh, Surah Barat. Uh, I have, however, forgotten it, uh, with the exception of this, which I remember out of it. Uh, if there were two valleys full of riches uh, for the son of Adam, he would long for a third valley, and nothing would fill the stomach of the sun go Adam uh, but dust. Some verses were cancelled. Um, and we uh, used to read a verse of the Quran revealed in their connection, but later the verse was cancelled. Uh, it was conveyed to our people on our behalf, the information that we have met our Lord, and he is pleased with us and has made us pleased. And then um, we read that in uh, the Hadith uh, Sahih Bukhari. And some verses were missing, um, as we read this uh, in a hadith uh, Sahih Bukhari again. Uh, Allah sent Muhammad, saw, uh, with the truth and revealed um, the holy book to him. And among what Allah revealed was the verse of Rajam, uh, the stoning of the married persons, male and female, who commit adultery. And we did recite this verse and understood and memorized it. And as apostle, Saul did carry out the punishment of stoning, and so did we after him. I am afraid that after a long time has passed, something will say by Allah, we do not find the verse of the Rajam in Allah's book, and thus they will go astray by leaving an obligation which Allah has revealed. And some verses were just simply overlooked, um, just simply not written down. And some verses were changed, and here we read about uh, Aisha, uh, Muhammad's child bride, taking authority and deciding what goes into the Quran. Uh, some verses were modified. Um, all together, I think uh, Al Hajjaj Ibrahim Yusuf made 11 modifications uh, in the reading of the Uthmanic text. And some verses were substituted, uh, so Allah's word does not seem to be consistent. Um, but Allah said, None of our revelations do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten but we substitute something better or similar. So they put in what they willed. And my favorite of all is uh, some verses were eaten by sheep, um, as described by uh, Aisha. Um, and once again, as she says that the verse of stoning and of breastfeeding an adult 10 times ooh, um, was revealed. And the paper was with me under my pillow. Uh, when the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a tame sheep uh, came in and ate it. Oh, a little bit careless, isn't it? But Muslims like to remind us that the Quran has not been altered, edited, or tampered with since its beginning. Um, but why did Uthman decide to be the editor-in-chief of the Quran uh, when it was supposed to be perfect? Uh, they call it a preserved text um, and that the Arabic script is the same today as in the days of the Prophet. Uh, but Arabic then had no diacritical or vowelization gr uh, grammatical marks um, and therefore had to evolve to accommodate the text. Um, so Allah had apparently chosen to release his final word in a language that needed to be developed. Leading Muslim scholars agree uh, we no longer have the Uthman originals that were, in any case, 
uh, hastily arranged and first written on vegetation and stone. Uh, but if Uthman standardized the text, why is it that we have uh, over 30 different Qurans a day? And uh, the earliest Qurans that we do have uh, are from the 8th century, that is the, uh, the Tukkapi in Turkey, uh, the Samarkand in uh, Uzbekistan, uh, the Petropolitanus in Paris, the Mahil in London, Al Husayz in, in uh, Cairo, and the Sana in, in Yemen. And they're all dated from the, the mid 18th century and are not from the Uthman period. And uh, Dr. Tayyar Al Tikulak, a leading scholar in Quranic studies in Turkey, he cites uh, the grammatical and scribal mistakes, um, including spelling errors um, in those uh, scripts that I showed you earlier, the, the Tukkapi and the uh, Samarkand, those that were dated from the mid 8th century and not from the, the Uthman period. Uh, now the Samarkand, uh, we saw a, a few slides before, um, he continues to say uh, was written by uh, somebody with little experience and was uh, with different uh, writing skills and styles um, and it only goes up to Surah 43 and uh, so there's therefore not complete. Um, there are similar problems of grammatical mistakes uh, with the other uh, 8th century earliest Qurans that we have uh, that uh, you, you, saw, you saw before. So uh, Dr. Atikilak um, and other uh, Islamic uh, scholars, um, some names I'm not going to even try to pronounce, but um, no, they do make uh, a, a serious point, uh, and that is a, uh, a brave, brave confession. Now what they're saying is that the earliest Qurans that we have today, some of you saw earlier, uh, they have uh, grammatical uh, mistakes and uh, other um, errors uh, so therefore cannot be relied upon and these uh, indeed these codices are not from uh, the original uh, Uthman period so therefore uh, not only do we not have the original uh, Qurans uh, the oldest Qurans that we do have uh, cannot be relied upon and contain fundamental mistakes. So the, the, the serious point is that for any Muslim to admit this is very difficult for them because any Muslim will tell you that the Quran is eternal, uh, sent down from Allah, untouched by human hands uh, with no corrections or corruptions. So any Muslim scholar um, must be extremely careful uh, when contradicting or disproving a popular Muslim myth. Um, so for any Muslim to say these things in public is, is truly extremely brave. And as they are sticking their neck out, uh, it is therefore worthy of note to the outside world. So this is serious business. Um, so there we have it. Um, next time I shall be looking at uh, uh, dating issues in more detail and explaining how the original text is impossible to read today. So please subscribe and in the meantime I'll say bye bye for now. Bye bye.